what is good everyone welcome back to the retro world guys in today's video we are hitting up lake city flea market in florida we're looking for video games we're looking for toys let's freaking go found a little booth guys with some venom hey this is actually the same one i had right here this chewy tenny oh look at this voltron that's cool. That is really cool. Now, guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's always during this moment when I'm editing this freaking video where I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't I pick that up? What we're looking at is a vintage Voltron figure still on card. And for some reason, I thought it was a newer one. I don't know why. In my head, I'm thinking, oh yeah, Super 7 reaction. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I look up the value of this bad boy. After the fact, way after the fact, there was a sold listing for like around 100 bucks. So $12, $100 freaking nuts hey i have that same bunny any uh turtle stuff tmnt dang it that's what they they told us down there i gotcha came to see what games you got any other video games or toys laying around or just what's on here yeah i don't want to see if i make sure on here okay you might have something oh okay i gotcha yeah, we're looking for like action figures and things like that, video games. I do have some more games. Oh, you got a few more? Okay. Yeah. I'll look through them. Thank you. Action figures, I don't know. Maybe next Maybe next, next time. Week. Gotcha. Do you know if anyone else here has like toys like maybe inside or A lot of times I would bring toys. You would be the you would be but, the toy I mean, one. I gotcha. No, 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 no. Not I'm not but I would always have like little figures and stuff like that. Okay. But my sister uh she sent me a bunch of jewelry. Yeah. And I didn't get a chance to go through my shed to see if I had any more figurines. I got gotcha. you. I think I probably do, but I Yeah. Um, how much do you have? Just curious, how much did you have on that one? I didn't see the price on there. Oh, there, I just figured five bucks each. Five? On okay. The games. I will think about so, that. Cool. Thank I don't you. know what, you know, you can make me on this. Okay. I will think about that. Thank you. Right. Cool. I saw I saw that. Yeah, I, was, I saw that X-Men book. That's actually kind of cool. It looks older, too. That's how, yeah, how it is. One dollar for that. I will pick that up. It's just too cool. I feel like you just, you don't, I've never seen this. I only have a couple of M&M things at the house. I don't really collect them too much. But right. I just thought that was really cool. <laughs> it, it, it is cool. Oh, a little water bottle. I don't know if it's like something. Legend of Zelda. Actually, I mean, it, it's a little, a little beat up, but maybe for like a dollar or something. I don't know. How much you guys got on this little guy? A dollar, you said? Yeah. Okay. What is this one down here, Jay? Oh, I thought it was a like surge or something. The only action figure to be in the moon heart. Okay, uh -oh. I got gotcha. you. Oh, you got one. And every all the movies are a dollar a piece. Okay. Except for when there's two of them in it, it's two dollars. Okay. You have Other some, what you got. Fig some figurines and stuff, but most of those are, are they here? here? No, not yeah. here. Okay. Would you do another dollar for this guy? Sure. Okay. So we're at two bucks. Did you see anything in there? You want to look through? Yeah, it's all. Okay. Yeah, stuff. I'll get those off you. Found a little bin, digging, digging. Really, the only thing that caught my eye so far is this Chuck E. Cheese little ball. It's kind of cool, but I can't buy everything. You said 50 cents each, guys. I think we're gonna get both of these. Make sure the movie is in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, so, later, later. Dollar. Let's go. You guys, Jack has discovered the games, but what kind of prices do we have? I mean, if the price is right, though, Sonic Spinball might be a going. This seems worth anything. Games? <laughs> Sometimes. Now, I just wanted to make this part very clear. The person that asked me if those games were worth anything was not the seller. I don't feel like the seller would ask that question. This was just a random guy that just showed up out of nowhere. You guys let me know if this ever happens to you. You're at a yard sale, you're digging in the bins, and you just got someone, like, looking over your shoulder because essentially that's what happened. And I was like, I mean... Some games can be worth something, obviously, and then y'all know some games also are worth next to nothing. So kind of a tricky question to answer on the spot, but then also he was kind of in that personal space. Anyways, let's get back to it. I collect and play them though, so I don't know. It just depends. Mortal Kombat. I want to ask him how much, but it's just sports games there. Dude, this is actually really cool to see. In just the like, the, yeah, like I would pick that up. Mortal Kombat. Look, Sega CD. How much you got on the, the games over here? Five a piece. Five a piece? Okay. 
And like this one is just the case, or the game's somewhere else, or? It'll be so, just the case. Okay. Do you have any action figures or anything? Like Ninja Turtles, anything? I might get that one for five. I might see if they'll do a little bundle deal, guys. What's out? Oh, we have this already, so we don't need it. Five a piece, I'll be a little picky, but. Dang it, that looks cool too. All right, let's see what we got. A little Casper hat from 1995. That Pretty cool. cool, like the yeah, colors look like awesome. Yeah, that is, I, honestly, I'd be tempted to keep that if I picked it that, up. That's really cool. How I mean, much? Uh, yeah, I didn't know, I was gonna ask okay. him. Do, are, you, are you wanting no, to get it? Okay. I, it popped, dude. Yeah, that dude, I'm definitely gonna off. ask. I'm gonna ask about this. Inside? Yeah. Okay. That's a and, good one. Yeah, I mean, for five, it's good. I'm gonna see if maybe he'll work out a little bundle deal if I get a few, but. Yeah, that one has the game. This dude, I'm I'm drawn to. You were saying this. I've never played this. One. You that, said this was like this, actually this really cool. this one. Like, see how that's how it's on fire. And then you, yeah, dude. Yeah, you told me Look, all sorts of craziness. Like dude, this one. This it is a makes fun me one. Play that all right, guys. Asked them if they had any games. They pointed us over here and came across this one. Little M and M's. I don't know. Looked interesting, but look, Game Boy Advance game in the box. I mean, might not be a good one for two bucks. I'm gonna pick that up. Look through if there's anything else. Put those over there. And there's some more DS stuff. And I, I already know, guys, I'm probably goofing because I'm probably not picking these up. But y'all let me know if there's anything in here. Hotel for dogs? I don't know. I just, I don't know anything about these games. Two bucks each is not a bad price. And I'll probably regret it later when I edit this video. But I'm definitely going to get these two for four bucks. Guys, another game section. I'm going to try and go a little slower this time so y'all can see. But... So far off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of sports titles, which, you know, if you're after sports games, that's cool. But, I wonder if there's anything crazy hiding in here. I don't know. Not yet. Let's keep looking. How's it going, man? Y'all see anything that I'm passing up? Let me know. So far, kind of looks like the, uh, the duds. No. Uh, no. Uh, Oh, what is this? I oh, don't know. I saw that. I thought maybe like Resident Evil or something, but nope. We got some more stuff down here. I mean, there might be some fun games. I see Phineas and Ferb. That game actually looks like it'd be pretty fun. I think we already have it, though. So we'll leave it behind. Sean White. Oh, that's a, that's a decent wrestling game. I don't know the prices on anything here. And I'm going to ask, but so far, there's nothing I'm seeing. I think this one... Mm, I can't remember. One of these Cars games on the Wii, I think, is decent. Hi, right, guys. We got Deadpool for 10 Not a bad price. And this one looks very interesting for 12 I'm going to have to ask them. It'll work out a little bundle deal. Some more games here. Seven. Oh, Kiki's Delivery Service. Great movie. How you doing today, ma'am? Pretty good. Got any action figures laying? Well, I guess oh, this is your whole booth. Okay. All right, guys. I went back to the booth that had the DS games. I didn't pick these up to begin with. He said he would work out a bundle deal if I picked up a few. So I just went ahead and got four games, and he gave me the deal of five bucks. I don't think any of these games are crazy by any means, but come on now. Pretty much a dollar a game. Well, a little bit less than that. Honestly, it's kind of worth just having the DS cases. <laughs> so... Flea Market Dan is in full effect. Bye, bye, bye. Now, normally the video would probably end right around there somewhere, minus the haul, which we will get to. But part of this trip was we were actually going to a video game and toy expo in the Gainesville, Florida area. So I don't have a lot of footage from that just because it was actually a little bit of a smaller expo, but we did find some cool stuff. So I wanted to show you all that as well. How's it going, man? Jack, look down there. Already got a little bin or something. Three for five. Nice. Oh, hey, how's, how's it going, it going man? man? Some Star Wars action. Yeah. Four for twenty. Okay. Some more Star Wars stuff. I'm gonna check the left. See some games. All right, guys. Five dollar games. See what we got here. Turok. That's not bad for five. Not too bad for five bucks. Hey, good. How are you doing? What? Oh. They're. They don't. The batteries are dead. Oh, those are cool. Dollar, I'll never get one of those as a kid. Dollar a piece. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Uh, which one? That one's um, the Velociraptor. I'll get one, you get one? There was one. You said was, they're a buck each? Yeah. Oh, 
There was I got them off. One. Guys, look at this E.T. board game. What you find there, bud? A little bin of turtles? He even knows in there, but he doesn't have anything on oh. But that's still cool What's, to see. How much is the bag? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. How much is oh. I was doing 20 on the whole bag. 20 okay. on the bag? Not bad if you got needle nose in there. Yeah. I mean, even not, you know, not complete or whatever. Hey, what's this little guy down here? I don't know if you were going to grab him. I just wanted to show. Oh, okay. Hey, look. Got a couple figs on oh, there. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 20. Oh, is he missing? He's missing the head, isn't he? Oh, dang it. But, like you are saying, he had the parts. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have parts. Yeah, I'll probably pass on that. Maybe we'll circle back a little later. Oh, cool. Freddy's Nightmare Seal. That's awesome. Wild America. Very cool. Oh, here we go. Simpsons plates. Oh, Dave Dave actually has these already. I'll, let you, you, I'll let you do a little day and see if you find anything cool, buddy. It's a cool venom. That actually is kind of cool. It's a really cool venom. Would you get them? For your, I don't. Maybe. Because I, I kind of want to keep it like the. Okay. Let's see. You, get, you can at least stuff. ask. He yeah. said there's some turtle How stuff. How much is that? I'm just curious. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. The venom, he's 40. 40. Okay. Right on. Right on. Oh, this is awesome, man. Is this your stuff you do? Okay. Guys, check this out. A little Bulbasaur. Custom work, man. Yeah, these are all cut to fit in the decal. If you have a decal. Okay. That's cool, man. What's Jack looking for? Some turrets. Yeah. A couple. 2012. Okay. There's a couple in this bin down here, too. I don't know if you saw. One. One turtle. Yeah. I gotcha. We got some games. Let's see what we got over here. We got Kirby. We got Game Shark. We Sports. Cold fear. Gotta have the Pokemon games. Very cool. Oh, I love that SP. I have that one in my collection. The Nintendo one is so sick. Dr. Mario. Looks like these have manuals. All of these are priced individually, I'm assuming, all the different games. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, look at this Ash. That's pretty cool. Some yeah, same here, same here. Let's see what we got here. We're trying to find some Wii U games that we need. Got it. We don't have this one, but I don't want to pick it up just yet. Back home this week, back up here, so you guys can get Back in the game room, let's take an up close look at everything that we just picked up. First things first, these are the two finds we found at the expo. So we have these vintage Jurassic Park and Jur well, I guess they're both technically Jurassic Park. Uh, from the Lost World, these are both watches, and I think they came from Burger King. I want to show you all them real quick. All right, here is the first one. You have, I don't know, some sort of liquid in there. The guy said he wasn't sure if these things worked or not, but they were a buck a piece and it's just vintage Jurassic Park. We couldn't say no. And here is the other one. I think my personal favorite out of the two, this one is called Dino Eye and just, oh, look at that eye, it's so sick. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Super stoked to be adding these to the growing Jurassic Park collection, especially for a dollar a piece. A little overview of the rest of the stuff we picked up. We're going to talk about this. This was actually from a indoor flea market. I didn't get any footage of it, but I picked up a couple of these. I got one for my brother, one for myself. This is a Bartman Avenger of Evil vintage button i don't know i forgot what year this thing came from it's on here somewhere oh there it is right there so we have 1989 i think this is gonna sit perfectly on the simpsons shelf that i have currently and it's probably gonna sit like behind some of the figures i feel like this would be a really awesome display piece but yeah this was super super cheap so definitely can't complain about that let's jump into a few of the video games that we picked up guys these were two dollars a piece i picked up two off the bat and when I left that guy's booth, I thought, wait, if I go back and maybe pick up more, maybe he'll do a little bit of a bundle deal. Won't be anything crazy, but maybe, you know, maybe a dollar off or something. That's just how it is. It's kind of fun to negotiate here and there. But guys, we have Games Explosion for the Game Boy Advance. I don't know. Honestly, without looking this up, I have no idea what the value is. This just looks like it would be one of these box games that even in brand new condition would be worth like maybe $10 with free shipping. I have no idea. I'm definitely going to do a little more research on it. But it's just the fact that we found some cardboard and it was super cheap, especially for the Game Boy Advance. Just went ahead and grabbed it. Couldn't leave it behind. Then kind of the same story with this stuff. It's just like, oh, let's just go and pick up a few. We got personal trainer cooking for the Nintendo DS. We have hotel for dogs. I didn't buy all of them. I just bought the ones that looked a little 
little interesting to me. We'll find out later on. This one looked the most interesting and it's just because of the cover. I, I don't know, Sudoku ball detective. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a winner, but it's okay. Brain age, train your brain in minutes a day. So do go include it again. We've got double. <laughs> Look, at some point somebody paid 10 bucks, but we definitely did, so that's great. And then this one kind of caught my eye, right? Like I bought this one and I bought this one together. I just felt like they were too cheap. I like M&M stuff. I don't know, this looks like maybe like one of those Tetris style games, let's see. M&Ms, break them. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly kind of what it looks like. It's just... I'm a sucker for the colors and I wanted to buy something. So did we do good on these? I don't know. Once again, we spent $4 on these two and I think he gave us these four for five bucks. So you guys let me know in the comments. Was it a, was it a W or was it an L? And we'll put this stuff over here. Let's go ahead and talk. Let's talk about this real quick. So guys over here, we got this random x-men book it just looked interesting it was a dollar this is the type of stuff i love picking up sometimes it stays in the collection sometimes i will sell it off i usually like to hold on to stuff for a little bit though before i decide on what i want to do with it probably keep this for a little bit and then maybe down the road if i want to declutter this might be uh the first thing to go but it is very very sick love x-men Let's talk about this over here. Another random find. Jack came across this one. I always ask him if he wants any of the stuff he comes across. Usually if it's like gaming related, he doesn't care. Toys, that's kind of where he jumps in a little bit more. That's the stuff he's after. But anyways, we got this Legend of Zelda little, I don't know, little water canister, I guess. 2017. It's not like in the nicest condition, but I just thought maybe a little shelf piece or... I don't know, maybe something we throw in an auction down the road, but it was, I think a dollar for him and I think a dollar for this one too. So once again, cheap stuff, we're gonna pick them up. Speaking of cheap stuff, we got both of these for $1. These were 50 cents each. I don't have either of these in the VHS collection. Uh, we have Chevy Chase's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Always thought the cover art on this was just really, really awesome. So we don't have this one, so we're going to add it to the collection. Now, this one has a different cover. We do have all the Star Wars VHS tapes, but the cover art on this just looks so sick. And for 50 cents... Ah, I just went ahead and picked it up. So we'll decide if we're gonna keep that one or not later on, but still very, very cool. And guys, let's talk about, what was this one? I don't remember. Need for Speed Rivals. Come to think of it, I picked this up and this up from the same booth. And yeah, this was a dollar if I'm not mistaken. So Need for Speed Rivals Complete Edition. Random Xbox 360 game. I don't know if it's worth anything crazy, but it looked interesting. Guys, let's talk about a couple more games. Got a little bit of a bundle deal on these. She did say we'd do a discount if we picked up both. We ended up getting both of these right here for 18 bucks, which I thought was pretty fair. Right here we have Deadpool. So always awesome coming across this game. I think it's the PS3 version is a little bit more desirable, but we got the Xbox 360 version. We got it for a discount, so not too bad there. And then this one looked very interesting. I don't know anything about this game or i'm assuming there's a series there's probably other games involved but it looked interesting i checked it after the fact and i think this one had a little bit of value so i think 12 might have been underpriced but that's okay when you go to flea markets usually you find some deals yeah i don't know maybe it'll be a fun game maybe it won't games like this i always want to check out before i decide if i want to keep or if i want to sell if i play it and i love it then i add it to the collection if i play it and it's like mm, pass then yeah i have no problem with selling it because why hold on to it if you're not looking to complete the ps4 north american library that sounds like that would be a very punishing job to do there's too many games out there and guys i think the crazy deal of the day right so a little bit of a story we did a bundle deal on everything right he did end up throwing this in right this was a freebie so that was cool he said $5 for the hat, which I thought was a good deal. It just looked cool. Jack found it. Once again, I asked Jack, I was like, do you want it? Because if not, this is just super sick, super retro looking. And he's like, nah, dude, it's all you. So I was like, okay. So I picked this up. I had all this like little stack of games. The dude told me 16 bucks for everything, $16 for all of this stuff, which I thought was a great deal. I even told him, I was like, yo, thank you. That's an amazing deal. Paid him and then went about my way. So before we all save the hat, we're gonna save the hat for last because I actually did research on this guy after the fact, after the fact, we were already literally in another city because this was on our way on our trip. But guys, we have this Sega CD game. It's called Road Avenger. I don't know anything about this game. Just picked it up. It looked interesting. So Went ahead and grabbed it. Very, very cheap. So I said, hey, why not? We don't really have many Sega CD games. Once again, we'll try it out. 
we don't like it, we'll sell it. But that's just how that goes. And I, I have mentioned this. If I come across like these little sampler discs or like, well, and, te and technically this is just the cover. There's no disc. I'm going to go and pick it up because these things are super retro to me now. And oh, I don't know. I just, I love the crazy looking art, but this is what volume eight. <laughs> yeah. A little beat up, but look at this Got medieval NFL extreme Spyro and metal gear solid. This is just like a straight blast from the past. So if I see these and they're cheap, of course, I'm picking them up. This looked very interesting to me. We just have the Sega Genesis cleaning system kit. It is official. I do love stuff like this. So I think I'm probably going to hold on to this one. This, I think, sitting on top of my Sega Genesis box would look really, really cool. Obviously, we're not going to use it for its actual purpose. I'm sorry, guys. It's just going to be a display piece. <laughs> Next up. 32x game something else you don't see very often so sega cd never really see stuff like that never see 32x games we've come across 32x stuff like once and it was two loose games at a yard sale so nfl quarterback club on the 32x it's a sports game no idea if this was a good deal or not but you know 16 for all of that i felt like this was still gonna be a good deal one way or another because it was just too cheap I wasn't going to leave it behind. And then boom, shaka laka right here, baby. We have NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Turn up the heat. Great freaking game. Probably one of the only sports games you guys might hear me rave about a little. I just remember thoroughly enjoying this game. And I played other sports games when I was a kid, but this one was just so much fun. Something about breaking that freaking backboard and the ball being on fire. Like, I don't know. It just really just changed sports games for me after playing this one. So this was once again, a great deal. Now guys, let's talk about the hat. After we were literally like already in another town, like I said, I looked this one up because things that look interesting that I don't know anything about, which honestly is a lot of stuff, a lot of gaming stuff, I'm still very clueless on. Like right here, for example, real quick, if this ends up being a banger, I have no idea until I edit. <laughs> so no clue on that. But anyways, the colors on this just popped out. I think we found out it said 1995 somewhere on it. Yeah, there we go. 1995 Harvey Comics. Now, before we got to the flea market, I was telling Jack, I was like, dude, I would love to come across something vintage, whether it's a shirt, whatever. Vin video games obviously are vintage as well. The Bartman was vintage, things like that. But I mean, I meant like clothing wise. And literally, like once we're seeing all these games, he shows me this hat and he told me he didn't want it. I was like, okay. We looked this bad boy up on eBay after the fact. Now, this is at the time of filming. This was going, I'm not kidding. We saw a sold listing for like $70 or $80. <laughs> and I looked over at Jack and I was like, just because him and I joke around all the time. We've been friends for years. I, lo I look at him and go, hey, man, you didn't want it. And then we kind of laugh about it. But I did tell him, I was like, if I don't end up keeping this, this is very sick. I do love Casper. I wasn't particularly wanting to find a hat on this trip. I was kind of hoping to find some vintage shirts. I told him if I sell it, I'm definitely going to give him a cut because he literally picked this up. I gave him the option. He said no, but that's just how it goes. We pass stuff back and forth to each other all the time. So let me know down below, guys, if uh, you're not really a huge vintage hat collector, you like Casper, you like retro stuff, things that are nostalgic, would you keep it just because it is pretty cool? Probably never going to see this hat again for this price. Or would maybe you sell it off and use that money to, honestly, this is the crazy part. We could sell this one hat off. And essentially everything right here is now for free after a little bit of work. So don't know guys, maybe rambled a little bit too much, but I just wanted to hang out and talk to you guys while I'm sitting on the floor. But yeah, let me know what you guys would do. Let me know what else that you saw that maybe you would have picked up or maybe, maybe you would have passed on. Let me know down below in the comment section. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. Drop some comments. Let me know what some of your favorite things were. Was there something in today's video that you were like, why didn't you pick up? freaking Voltron or was there some stuff in today's video you were like why did you pick that up like maybe some of those DS games <laughs> drop some comments let me know what you think also I wanted to take a moment to let you guys know that I have been playing through Dark Cloud and by playing through I mean I just beat the boss maybe I think it was a week ago before I'm editing this video great game would definitely recommend it if you have not played it gets a little repetitive during the dungeons but Still, it's a fun game. It's not super expensive. And then I wanted to start another game just because I'm in more of a playing the freaking games mood when I have time in between editing. I've never played anything from this series. This is actually the only game in the series I have. We got Wild Arms 3. So far, I've only put about maybe two hours into this game and the story is freaking beautiful. You guys let me know if I should play any of the other Wild Arms games. And also, if you made it this far in the video, that way I know that way I know you made it this far in the video. 
drop a comment and let me know what video game you are currently playing. If you're not playing any video games at all, maybe there's a game that you just really want to play. So either a game you really want to play or a game that you're currently playing. I want to hear from all of y'all. Yes, you, the person that doesn't even comment, you better comment on this video. Guys, I appreciate all of y'all. Till next time. Peace.